hello to Peachtree Elementary and the students of Mrs. Campbell's classroom. I heard from your teacher recently that you study rocks and minerals. Well, my name is Joseph Borman and I'm a geologist. And a geologist is a special type of scientist that studies rocks and minerals for a living. And how do I study rocks and minerals? I study them by going on field trips. And I'm sure you guys love field trips. When I was in elementary school, I loved field trips. So in fact, I chose a job that allows me to go on field trips all the time. Right now, I'm currently living in the desert of Nevada for two months while I study the rocks and minerals of a mountain range here. So I just wanted to show you right now some of the tools that I carry with me while I'm studying rocks and minerals to help me observe them. One of the first things I have is around my neck right here. It's called a hand lens. And it's basically a very small but very strong magnifying glass because many rocks have very, very small minerals. And so this allows me to see those minerals and determine what they are. Another thing I carry is my folder. And inside my folder is something very important. I have here a map. And as you may be able to see, I have some colored pencil on my map. And what I do is I walk around and I observe the different rocks in the area. And when I see a certain rock, I'll color it, you know, green. And then maybe as I keep walking, maybe I see a different kind of rock and I'll color it orange. Or maybe I see a different one and I'll color it purple. And as I do that, I get a better idea of what rocks are in the area. And that can tell me a little bit about the history of the mountain range. Another thing I carry that's important is my pouch right here. Inside my pouch, I have my colored pencils so I can color my map. I have some regular pencils and I have some pens as well as some chapstick to uh, help protect my lips from the sun. But one of my important things I keep in my pouch is this here. This is my geologic field notebook. And anything I observe while I'm out here, as I'm walking around, if I see something special or I see something unique, I open up my field notebook and I write inside. I take notes. Just like maybe you take notes while you're in school, I take notes out here all the time. And then later in the evening, I can sit down, I can read through my notes and maybe learn something about the rocks out here. Oh, the wind is kicking up. Hopefully you can still hear me. Another thing I carry, and this is another very important thing, is actually in this black bag right here, I carry my camera, which I'm now using to talk to you. But I carry my hammer. Yes, I have my hammer because rocks are very hard. And sometimes you want to take a piece home with you. So you take a hammer and you just hit the rock. So basically, I walk around all day, look at rocks, and I hit them. It's a lot of fun. So this is my hammer, very important piece of my equipment. And another important piece is right here. This is a special kind of compass, and it is called a Brunton compass. And as you may know, a compass is an instrument that uses the magnetic field of the Earth to point north. So right now, if I point my compass this direction, north is that way. But this is a special kind of compass that allows me to measure the orientation or the way in which rocks are situated. Some rocks are situated flat and some are at a tilt. And it's very important for me to measure these tilts to help determine what's going on in this area. And the last thing I carry with me is this big backpack. And in it I carry water, and I carry food, I carry a first aid kit just in case I get in trouble, and I carry any of the rock samples that I will have collected with my hammer. So this is basically what I carry on a regular day. Um, well, of course I also have sunglasses and a hat to keep the sun off of me. Like I said, I am in the desert, so that is a, a, an issue. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the equipment that a geologist carries. Uh, and I carry this equipment to help myself observe the rocks and um, come to certain conclusions about the, the, uh, the area that I'm studying. So I hope you're having a good day and I just wanted to say goodbye and um, thank you.